Nice to see you. Welcome to another No Pro Joe review. Today, we're here to talk about Lens Baby Spark for your Canon camera. Nikon's too. I think Sony. Stick around. All right, well, the uh, Lens Baby Spark is quite a strange animal. It uh, looks like a set of bellows on uh, the lens. It's an inexpensive tilt-shift lens um, that you have to manually focus by pulling the bellows in and out. But then you can also tilt and shift your focus. So you can move the plane across as you twist it and move it. It's kind of neat. Um, it's all plastic. Uh, it has a replaceable element in the front that you can change out for different uh, uh, focal lengths and different apertures uh, in the front. But this is just your standard edition uh, lens, baby. And uh, it's it's pretty neat. Um, it's hard to get used to. It's, uh, it's all plastic construction. It's got a constant 5.6 aperture. Uh, also, it is 50 millimeters. So on your APS-C cameras, it's going to be around 80 millimeters. So it's it's not a selfie lens. Um, you're definitely going to be behind the camera for this one. But it does give you a pretty cool effect. Uh, depending on how you use it, it can create almost like a swirling effect, um, an angular blur effect. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, some of the bouquet is a little uh, harsh, but uh, it's definitely a, a, a neat little lens. Uh, I wouldn't say you'd have it on your camera all the time, but it, uh, it's definitely fun for being creative. And basically, all you're doing is you're taking it and you're pressing the bellows to get, to get it in focus, and then you shift the focus line across, and you just snap your picture. All right? So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, for video, I think it'd be kind of hard. Um, here's a little sample of video. I took with it and you can see uh, it's kind of hard to get it in focus and uh, keep it there but you can see the kind of effect it does when it, it swirls off and um, these are a few uh, images I took with the lens baby and you can see how um, you can see how the focus plane goes off and it blurs and uh, has a pretty nice bokeh effect but uh, it's a fun lens it was uh, $89 from Amazon, so it wasn't real expensive. Um, like I said, it's not going to be a lens you're going to keep on your camera all the time. Well, unless you like it that much and you want to keep it on all the time. I didn't do any portraits with it. I, I think it would be a really fun portrait lens to get some different looking portraits. Maybe some um, classic looking uh, film style camera, old range finder kind of lenses i think it'd be fun to to use for that but uh yeah it's a pretty cool little lens i just want to jump on really really quick and talk about it it's the uh, lens baby spark it is all plastic they also have a, a higher end model with an actual focus ring and you can set the dampening to set the tilt uh, that is fairly expensive i don't remember the cost of it uh but yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't buy it because, you know, this is good enough. This is just for fun. And uh, you can do some creative photos with it. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little lens. The bellows are, uh, are neat. It's a, it's a neat design. Uh, it, it's pretty cool the way they thought of it. And uh, it's definitely fun. Just slam on your, slam on your camera and uh, get out there and, and do some uh, creative photography. But that's about it. Real quick review. Nothing really bad to say. Nothing great to say. It's fun. It's cool. It's different. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, you can you can get pretty creative. I mean, I've only had it for you know a short period of time, uh, but getting that sweet spot on the focus right is is tough. It's very tough. Like uh, once you get good with it, you can decide which way you want your angular blur to go. Um, but I have not had great luck with it getting it where i want it to go i'll keep practicing with it and uh, hopefully get better but uh you can see from the sample images it's 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 pretty cool 
I've also got a link in the description to um, full resolution uh, images on my Flickr. So you can pop over there if you want to see some uh, full resolution images. It's, uh, it's tough to get sharp focus with this lens. So if you're expecting, if you're a pixel peeper and you want like bang on sharp focus, you might want to skip this lens. It's, it's not for that. It doesn't handle flare very good. If you, sh if you shoot with any kind of bright light coming, it, uh, it just goes real flat, no contrast. It's, you know, it's not a, uh, it's not a high tech lens, but, uh, in, uh, Lightroom, you can make some changes and get, and get the pictures looking pretty nice. Uh, get some of that flatness out of there, dehaze it a bit and, uh, and clean it up. But, uh, again, for fun, it's just a fun lens to have and, uh, if you want, give it a try. It's uh, like I said, it's eighty nine bucks, so it's not like a huge investment, but uh, definitely have some fun with it. All right, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on another No Pro Joe review. Have a great one.